For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, let's do this problem where they want you to find the internal shear force and moment acting at C on the beam. So as you can see, here at B, we only have a vertical reaction, BY, where at A, we have a vertical and possibly a horizontal reaction. Not necessarily, but possibly. So that being said, uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find an equivalent force to replace this distributed loading. So let me erase this distributed loading, which is uh, triangular and is for keep. And when you replace it, you replace it with a force that is acting at one third. This is one third from the tollage of the triangle and let's call this Fy and if you wanted to find Fy all you gotta do is find the area of the triangle which has a length of 6 times the height of 4 divided by 2 because it's a triangle and the area of the triangle you gotta divide by 2 so this comes out to be 12 kilopounds so now that we have this new diagram right here the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find by to find by we're going to do the sum of the moments at a assuming clockwise is positive and we know that that sum is equal to zero because this is statics so zero is equal to the moment created by fy which is fy times the distance remember it's one third of the length of the triangle was one third of six so from here to here there's two feet which means that from here to here there is 4 feet so it's Fy times 4 feet minus By times 12 because the whole length of the assembly is 6 plus 6 which is 12 it's a distance that By from A so those are the moments and when you solve for By you get that By is equal to 4 keep four kilopounds because we already have fy we calculated right here just plug it in solve for by and you get that by is equal to four kilopounds now that we have a by four keep and fy we found it at 12 keep then we're going to use the method of sections and we're going to use this section right here from c to the right so let me redraw this section this right here is C so let's say this is the normal and C let's say this is the share VC and let's say this is the moment C and we still have PY at 4 keep <coughs> sorry that says for key so from the second diagram right here we know that the sum of the forces on the x is equal to zero which means that the normal is equal to zero we know that the sum of the forces in the y is equal to zero so the share going down plus by going up is equal to zero so as you can see the share is going to be equal to by so the share is going to be equal to four kilopounds and last but not least the sum of the moments at c is equal to zero let's assume clockwise is positive which means that the moment mc minus the moment created by by which is by times six times 6 because the distance from C to BY is 6 feet given right here and all of that is equal to 0 that's a times so if you solve for the moment you get that the moment is equal to 24 kilopounds per foot going clockwise so final answer for the normal final answer for the share force and final answer for the moment developed at point C. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.